Hey guys, in the book, Mapping Penny's Journey today, we talked about the trail map and how it uses a map skill so people can figure out the distance of the trails. Why do people use map skills? People use map skills so they can figure out the distance of the trails in the park. So our sentence today is going to be people use map skills People use map scales so they can figure out the distance of the trails in the park. Okay, we have a long sentence of the day today. People use map skills so they can figure out the distance of the trails in the park. So now we want to take a look and underline the parts of speech that we've already learned. We have learned what a noun and a pronoun is. Remember, a noun names a person, place, or a thing. A pronoun is the word that takes the place of a noun, like he or she, they or us. So let's underline all of the nouns in our sentence. People is a noun. Mm. Scales is a noun, that's a thing. Map scales, map is a word that describes what type of scale. So it's not part of the noun. We just underlined the noun. So they, they is a pronoun and names a group of people can figure out the distance, it's a thing, of the trails, it's a place, in the park, that's also a place. Lots of nouns in our sentence today. Now we want to underline in red the articles. Remember, an article is a word that comes right before a noun, and we have three articles, a, an, and the. So we're looking at the words that come right before our noun, distance, we have the, the trails, so that is an article, and the park, that is also an article. Now, we want to underline the verb. Remember, the verb is the doing part. People do what? People use. We have another verb in this sentence. This, this sentence is different than any sentence we've looked at. If we put a period at the end of scales, we could say, People use map scales. That's a sentence by itself. It's a complete thought. If we started with they, we could have another complete thought. They can figure out the distance of the trails in the park. So that could be another sentence. We just very briefly talked about compound sentences last week. It's where we take two sentences and put them together. So we have use as a verb here. And then we also have can figure out or can figure, okay? So we could do can figure as our verb as well. So that's a little tricky and we'll get more practice on those, but that's something completely new for us. The last thing we want to underline is the conjunction. Remember last week when we talked about conjunctions? Conjunction is a word that joins things together, okay? So I kind of gave you a clue on this. We have like a and, and um, like I want to go to the park and go for ice cream. It joins the two things. But this, our conjunction in this sentence is the word so. Our conjunction connects the first complete thought with the second complete thought. So the word so is a conjunction in our sentence. All right, friends, that's it for sentence of the day today. That was a lot. We had a really long sentence with lots of very um, difficult things. So 